Hi friends, today I'm gonna to show you how to make cast iron steaks. My favorite way to make steaks, you get a nice char on the outside, nice and rare on the inside. Okay, Chi. I'm you, back. You're back again. I love it. <laughs> you like the meat, don't you? I He's do. the meat man around oh. here. So Chi is uh, our food and beverage director here at Silverstone Events, also one of our chefs. And he and I love to make these cast iron steaks. They're mm -hmm. really, really awesome. So a couple of things about cast iron. It's the very best way to make the best steak if you are not in a restaurant. Restaurants have these ways to get the heat up to seven, eight, nine hundred degrees. And a cast iron skillet, the skillet is actually getting to about five to six hundred degrees. So you get it pretty hot. Oh, look at that. Look how hot that is. So one of the most important things when you're going to do a cast iron steak is get your skillet hot. This has been on high for 15 minutes. I know you think that's crazy, but it is the best way. You've got to let the skillet get completely hot before you do the steak. So it's nice and hot. So I'm going to start here. Oh, yep. I always forget cheese. Cheese. We've got to dry them off. Have to take all the moisture off of the steaks because otherwise the seasoning will not stick to it. Let's do it on the other side too. Mm -hmm. And also when you put these on the skillet, you want them nice and dry so that you get a nice sear on them. Okay, the first thing I do with the steaks, I take a little bit of oil, not a lot, just a little bit and rub it on the steak. The steak has quite a bit of fat but you want to rub the outside with a little bit of oil and that helps it to not stick to the skillet. You don't need a lot. You can use olive oil, you can use canola oil, you can use any kind of oil that you like. Okay, and then remember, season, season, season. It's important if you want these steaks to taste great, you need to season them. Now we, these are what, like 12 ounce steaks? 10 to 12 10 ounces? 10 to 12, I think. Yeah, so this is a great size prime strips I love strip steaks. You can do ribeyes, you can do tenderloin fillets, any of those things. And you wanna, as you um, do these, now these two steaks, are, the thickness is real different on these two steaks. So one's gonna cook for a little bit longer than the other, but you can see when we start cooking them how that goes. This one's gonna be mine because I like mine me oh. more rare than medium. Okay, all right, well then I get the bigger one. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna take salt and you want to heavily salt okay heavily salt there's a lot of meat that needs to be covered and you want to also salt the edges okay you want to make sure you get the whole steak covered in salt just rub it in okay and then we're going to do that over here this nice fat cap on this one we're going to use to get some of the render that fat out all right so that's that then I'm gonna come back with a little bit of crazy salt because I love the herbs that are in the crazy salt. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little. Give it some of that good flavor. This has got a little garlic in it, little herbs, little rosemary, little pepper. And then I'm gonna finish it with a light coating of ground pepper, okay? But again, you want, all of, you want these to be nice and covered. Now, a lot of people marinate their steaks before they cook them. I do, the better the steak, the less you need to marinate. If you marinate and season these for a long time before you cook them, what's gonna happen is all of the moisture is gonna pull out of the steak. It's really important to do this seasoning right before you're gonna cook them. And you do not need to marinate these steaks. If you wanna put something like butter or Worcestershire on them when they come out of the skillet, then that's great. But otherwise, you really do not need to do anything. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the skillet here. Yeah, it's nice and hot. Let me Ooh. use this. See, now we know how real hot it is. And I just take this and move this around. We don't need a lot of oil in there, just a little coating of oil. And then we're gonna go right in with these steaks. Now what I like to do is put the fat side in first. Oh Ooh, yeah. That oil later on you'll be cooking. We're we'll cooking in the steak fat, right? Yeah. Nice. So that's what I want to do. I want to render some of that fat out of that fat cap. So I'm going to do this for about 30 to 40 seconds on this backside. But you can see it's already starting to brown that fat. 
and you can see that fat <coughs> is pulling out into the uh, pan, and that's exactly what we want. I know it's getting smoky. Even the camera guy's getting smoked out. <laughs> of course, if you were at home, you'd have your exhaust on, so it'd be pulling this all up. We're going to put these on the edge on each side. Ooh, this close. one's going to go about two minutes, and that one's going to go about three minutes. All right, we'll be back in a second when we flip them over. Hi, friends. We're back. They've been about three more minutes on each side. Now, if you want to use a meat thermometer to be sure, what you want to do is you want to stick it about halfway into the steak and see what it says. So this one is reading about 110 degrees, so it is almost done. You're looking for 120. This real thick one is still at about 100, 105. So it needs a couple more minutes, but we're going to pull this one out and see so look how beautiful this is you've got nice crusty on both sides look at that isn't that gorgeous chi it and i'm going to put this one in here all right now <clears throat> let's give it a cut <clears throat> now what you really want to do is let this rest for a minute a couple of minutes so i am going to do that just because it's always better it lets the juices kind of settle yeah, in yeah. and all the flavors kind of settle in so you can just let it rest for a couple of minutes. Just cut it, I'm hungry. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh my Lord. Look how beautiful it is. Perfectly rare in the center and nice and charred on the outside. Oh. Doesn't that look yummy? It sure does. Okay, let's give it a taste. See if we pass the mustard. Let me get a uh, fork if I could. There it's easier go. to control that way. Just a nice sliver there. All right, give that a whirl. Now, some of you may want this a little more cooked, and that's okay. This is a good medium rare. So let's taste it and see if it's got all the seasoning in it. Mmm, yummy. Not good. I'm going to need to try another piece. Okay. Oh, I didn't taste that, but... Here, there's a whole other piece for you. <laughs> no, this is awesome. All right, let's pull this one out and see how it's doing. Okay. Ooh. Look at this. So now this one was a little bit thicker. Let's just go right down the middle. Uh, it's a little more rare, it's but a little more good. rare. But that's what you said you wanted, right? Yeah, that's perfect. That's for a me. good, perfect medium rare. Okay, there's your piece. Oh, Don, okay. I'm going to give you the whole thing when we're done. I just want you to just try it now. Okay, okay. I'll okay, wait. I'm just going to have a little bite. Here we go. Mmm. Nice and crispy on the outside. So much flavor. Friends, we really enjoyed being with you today. Thank you for coming and learning how to cook a cast iron steak with us. Always enjoy the experience, and I encourage you to enjoy cooking. Cheers. Cheers.